I never know how to start these videos. You'll see it in my haul video that I still have yet to edit. Which I recorded about two days ago. It's now Friday. And I recorded it Wednesday. Um, I thought I'd do a life goals update because a lot has happened. Um, I know I did like a long awaited one there. Not long ago. But a lot more has happened since said video has gone up. Um, so yeah. Where do I start? Um, well, at the moment, um, I am stuck within these walls of this room with Graham, thankfully. <laughs> There's his hand. Thankfully with Graham because, sadly, some of us tested positive. Both me and Graham and one of my family members did. Uh, so, <laughs> isolation to joy. I'm only on day two and I'm already going crazy. Um, so... If I don't see myself, that is why. Because I'm like, right, I had next week off anyway, so I didn't really mind. Because uh, I only missed two days of work. But then thinking I'm not physically allowed to leave my room unless I'm going to the toilet. Um, because there's other members in my house. If it was just me and Graham like, on our own, in our own place, we could like, wander around because it's the two of us. But because there's my dad and my older brother and my mom and all like that. Not actually allowed to leave the bedroom unless I'm going to the toilet. So... That's great fun. Um, although my dad does go to work in the mornings or throughout the day. So if you want to get some fresh air, we can actually go out the back garden. As long as like we wear a mask, go now and sanitize on the way back kind of thing. Um, so we are currently in isolation. So that's one big update at the moment. Um, so I've been out of work Thursday and Friday. I was out of work last Monday as well because I wasn't well on the weekend. Um, I was sick. In fairness, I should have done a test and all then um i didn't know what the symptoms were i presume symptoms are just like cold and flu symptoms you know aches pains stuffy nose cough that kind of thing uh, but apparently tiredness headaches and vomiting are part of it now and i didn't know that i uh, really need to keep up to date with that so i do um so on isolation basically that's a big update um mental health wise obviously because i'm stuck in here it's not good but even previously to that still haven't been great i thought i was getting better Um, i suppose i have good days bad days it's a lot of up and down recently um i have an sna course finishing up on the 2nd of february so that's actually not that long away it's about a week and a half away less than two weeks basically away and i need to get my second assignment finished and i need to finish the lms platform online and then just double check all my homework with my tutor uh, she did give me pointers for the first assignment, but I'm going to leave them for the moment and try to finish my second assignment. Um, I don't want to concentrate too much on the first one and then not get the second one done to a good standard. So I'm going to do that. Start on that. Well, I've already started it, but finish it. Obviously, because I'm off now. That's the reason I booked next week off, was to finish all that. Um, So it was. So I don't know what's going on with my hair, by the way. I was supposed to get dyed this weekend, but obviously I can't. I'm hoping my cousin might be able to pick it up for me and drop it off. Fingers crossed if she's not busy. Um. Anyway, sorry. That's another topic I will get onto now in a sec. Um. <laughs> it's uni slim. But yeah, so I'm hoping to get that done. But then I have curriculum starting on the 28th now technically it has started already because i do have it there and i have registered my account is all active but it doesn't officially start until the 28th of january so next week it officially starts um so that's starting and that finishes in april uh, i think the 22nd of april that finishes so that's kind of another long one so i do need to get started on that once i finish my sna one i'll be jumping straight into that um so college is very stressful work is also very stressful because we are trying to figure out what to do and um, the kids are still coming in to work sick which kind of puts a stress on us because we're wondering like do they have it or what's going on and then we're panicking over it and we're trying to co figure out like what the new restrictions are now because they're constantly changing and what can we do with them and then we have like very very little staff and with college and like illnesses going around I mean close contact and all that it's very it's very hard to get staff basically very little staff and it's so stressful in there so stressful so it can be 
um, it has its good times, obviously, but still very stressful. So that's putting a bit of a bit of a strain on me then as well. And then, obviously, the next big topic that I'm going to talk to you about, like my mental health, obviously, is a big topic, which has been very, very, just up and down, a lot more down than up, but very up and down, sadly. Um, but my diet. So when I last spoke. I was in uni slim. I was starting to kind of drink my water. I had plans to like add in my exercises and go for walks and all. But sadly, uh, what's happening now <laughs> is I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, get into a better routine and just organize my life better, basically. And yeah, even though certain parts of it are kind of easing up and they're not as stressful anymore trying to figure out like what to eat and what meals to do and what to bring to work and all this is just for lunch especially lunches and dinners like they're like I'm not a big breakfast person so I'm trying to figure out okay what can I bring into in for lunch because if I have my lunch too early I'm going to be hungry when I'm in work and I'm going to want to pick but if I bring lunch in with me it has to be something that I can bring in with me so I'm trying to figure out like what's the best option and for a while there especially in December I was constantly just bringing in chicken fillet rolls as you know um but this week I had started and last week I had started to bring in my own lunches I was kind of planning to do to bring in proper lunches like I was planning to bring in like pasta I was planning to, I had bring, I actually did bring a pasta cheese and mushroom this year in one day I brought leftover chicken and broccoli bacon another day um I brought in ciabatta sandwiches another day um bits like that uh the ciabattas I will talk about in a minute because there is a reason behind that um so I brought all them in. So I am trying to work around my diet and all. But I'm also... Me and my ma have decided that because classes can't really go ahead with class talks like with Unislim, there's no real point in us continuing it. Now, we're going to wait because classes work actually cancelled this week and um, because of reasons that I'm not going to say on here. Not my place. Um, But classes were cancelled this week. And no one was going to be docked like a week to say, because normally you'd have to pay the two weeks, like, but that's not going to happen because obviously not our fault. So we're going to see if the class talks are back next week, we will continue going. But if there's no class talks, me and my have kind of decided we're not going to go because we're not really getting anything out of it besides weighing ourselves. Um, So we are kind of contemplating on not going to Unison for a good while. Just until we get everything kind of stored and the class talks are properly back up and you can actually talk to the person again. Um, don't get me wrong, like Jean's amazing. She'll try to talk to you as much as she can when you're at the weighing scales, but um, it's very hard when you have like four or five people in a queue behind you. Like my mom pointed out one day, I went up, I weighed in, and I was chatting to her and all like that about like how I'm getting on, blah, blah, blah. And it was grand, I got to talk to her, but then when my mom got up, there was about four people behind her, so she couldn't talk to her then. Because by the time she finished talking to me, there was more people there. So she lost out on the chance to talk to her. So we are contemplating not doing that. Not going to Unisim anymore. And just weighing ourselves here every week. Um, We do still have like the Unisim books and all like that. And we do know what we need to do. So we're contemplating just kind of easing into it a bit more. And doing it at our own pace. And not having to hand out that money every week to for nothing like just to weigh in you know um so i probably won't be going back to unison for a while Um, the walks and the exercise i will get the walks back in soon i'm mostly waiting for the evenings to brighten up because my ma did ask me did i want to go for walks in the evening with her and i said no i wouldn't even go out with graham i wouldn't go out with both of you i can't walk in the dark Um, i physically just i'm not able it's like, when I first started the Life Goals page, which I know I've barely posted on recently, but when I first started that, I did a challenge, which recently came up on my uh, For You page. Or, not for my, not For You page, my Time Hop, even. Um, I did a challenge, and one of the challenges was to do something that I wouldn't normally do, and I decided to go for a walk by myself. But it was in the morning, um, before work, and I only walked down the town, and I had my headphones and all in. But it was something I wouldn't normally do. Now, I'm fine walking down the town on my own at this point. Still a little iffy about it. Like, I still don't like it. If I don't have to do it, I won't do it. But getting there slowly with it. But, um, what you call it? I just cannot walk at night. 
at all. I can just about walk in the daytime. And with the way things are going, even walking in the daytime is freaking dangerous. Now, but no one's safe because there's just... I don't really want to curse in a video, but you know what I mean. There's them people out there that just don't care. Um, so even walking during the day is terrifying to me at the moment. But once the evenings start getting brighter again, I will start walk going for walks with them. And I will start doing that. I have slowly started to up my step count, although the next two weeks step count is going to be very low because I'm in my room. Um, so this week's step count and next week's is going to be very, very low, sadly. Um, but yeah, so we're quitting Unislim. The diet we are going to continuously try to keep on top of. Um, I've found a egg fried rice recipe that I'm obsessed with at the moment. Um, I figured out that I can put mushroom with basically everything so I can have a veg with everything. I made an egg fried rice recipe the other day that literally was basmati rice, soy sauce, garlic, um, peas, mushroom. I can, if I wanted to, I could put mushroom in it. I didn't have mushroom at the time. Um, but it was peas and that was it. Um, that's all that was in it. Like, and it was so good. So I got Graham to get me a few bits. So I have a recipe there for me to do. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I'll do it soon where I can do like a big batch of egg fried rice and have it with mushroom, chicken and pancetta and do like a big bowl of that. And it would have peas and mushrooms inside my veg. It would have a protein in it, which is the chicken. And then it has just generic stuff and it'd be completely free on the Unislim. Um, plan. Couldn't think of the word plan. It'd be completely free on that. The only thing I'd have to count is my oil, which would be the spray oil that I use and the pancetta unless I used uh, bacon medallions and just cut them up, then it would be free. Um, again, I do apologise for this hair. <sighs> I said it in the last video as well, my haul video, that it's a complete mess. Like, look at that. Um, I have one thing I will uh, openly admit. I've started trying to get my own, start to feel myself again, like in the sense of like feel good in my clothes again. I've started to kind of open my style into what I want to wear. Um, but I'll get into that in a sec. The other thing I wanted to talk about was I had been sick on and off for about two months. Um, very blocked nose, bit of a chesty cough. Um, but that was because of my nose being constantly running going up, down onto my chest. So I started taking allergy tablets and we started looking into what I was eating and my ma thinks I might need to go gluten-free. Not fully gluten-free, but I have a slight uh, intolerance or slight tolerance. I don't know what word it is. But basically, m my body reacts differently to wheat. I can still eat it, but if I eat it in too big of a quantity, I can be sick from it, kind of thing. Um, So I started kind of going gluten-free, and I started cutting out a load of bread products and or switching them to gluten free products and I haven't I've been feeling grand on that. Uh, that's what the chia batters were. The chia batters were actually gluten free chia batters. So part of my diet is going to now be gluten free. But not the whole diet not my whole diet, just part of my diet will be gluten free. Um because I'm not fully like allergic, it doesn't make me physically sick. Um I just I get like bloated and have like a bit of a reaction to it but not like a really really bad reaction to that extent like I'm not I'm not like celiac or not celiac I don't basically have to go full on gluten free is it celiac? I can never remember what one it is but I don't have to go full gluten free Um, basically I can still have like the odd piece of bread or breaded chicken or whatever like, and I, have, I can have the odd piece Um, so I can which is good because I do like the odd chicken roll or breakfast roll every now and then you know or um pancakes or whatever which i will be probably making not this weekend the following weekend so i will when my nephew is back i'll probably end up making them because i was supposed to make them last at the weekend but obviously can't now clearly um yeah so the other thing so that's like one of the main things that's like one of the big things i've had to go gluten free so i have um on a lot of stuff but I also can kind of have a bit of wheat, which is good. So I'm hoping kind of switching out a lot of the wheat-based products to gluten-free based products, i.e. my pastas and like my breads. Hopefully switching them, fully, not fully, but switching them out to mostly gluten-free will help kind of 
balance it out as well because years ago don't ask me what age i was but it was during the seven weeks of lent i did a full gluten-free diet nothing with wheat in it at all because i'd gone to a health food shop and they did this test i think it was on my hand or my arm or something anyway they figured out i had a slight tolerance or intolerance whatever to wheat so we decided for the seven weeks of lent i would do a gluten-free diet uh, which went amazing by the way i lost a ton of weight so i did because i wasn't as bloated and i wasn't hungry and i wasn't like i had more energy in me to get up and move so i did i wasn't like <laughs> lethargic that's good i wasn't all lethargic oh that cut is really bad um my rabbit earlier on got me uh when my dad wasn't here i quickly ran out to them while i was allowed in the garden and i fed them and she got me <laughs> but um what you call it yeah i did it like a seven weeks so i lost a good bit of weight and i felt more like energized and all like that i wasn't as bloated i wasn't as lethargic so i'm hoping given a couple of weeks doing that i'll be able to i'll start feeling a bit more like that on my skin i said it in the last video i do apologize for whatever this is my skin will start to clear up because that's been pretty bad lately like i've had really bad dark under eyes very bad acne here i know like the acne that i've had here is from wearing the mask all the time uh, but I've had it from I've had it here, of all places, um. So hoping that helps all that, but I am going to like slowly look into that. But I'm also trying to concentrate on getting college done, and the whole style thing. I went on Shein. I ordered like a load of clothes that I think fits the look. I really want to kind of get into wearing because I'm so used to wearing nothing but frumpy baggy clothes trying to cover up everything every lump and bump that's on me now not that i'm wearing like super tight clothes or like i know this is like see-through but like not that i'm wearing anything that i would feel uncomfortable in but like say this i would wear like with a little string top or a strapless uh long top kind of underneath it uh, i have other t-shirts there as well but they'll be in the haul video you'll see them or you would have seen them but um, I'm starting to kind of buy clothes that I want to wear on like a daily basis and not just like on nights out, like a daily basis instead of just my generic t-shirts. So even the generic t-shirts that I buy, I've started to DIY, which I will do a video talking about as well. Um, so like I've done up the sides or do here or do the sleeves or I'll do something on it uh, to make it more my style. I have a board on Pinterest uh, of all different outfits now yes <laughs> i would admit they're all from the show pretty little liars that i'm watching but that's because i'm absolutely obsessed with their style and it's the type of style that i want because they're all different types of people like you have the smart one you have the super girly fashionable one you have like the smart one and all that like that they're all like different types of people but their styles are so kind of not similar but i just love how like comfortable they are at one point but also real fashionable but like i just love their styles basically so i have like a whole pinterest board uh that i've been i've been making dedicated kind of to that and that's kind of style that i've been looking at um instead of just wearing a generic t-shirt and leggings every day of the week with runners i want to start wearing better looking clothes like the other day i had a really cute outfit on that i absolutely am obsessed with it was literally this top black string top i had my little black shorts on black tights and i put extra pair of socks on black socks on just for, for um warmth but then i had my boots on as well i had my work jumper on i had a cardigan on and my work jumper on for warmth as well um and i felt amazing like i did my makeup and everything like that day and i felt great that was wednesday and i actually felt really good in that outfit and it's them type outfits i want to start wearing there's another one i wore at christmas time that i friggin loved which was um my oak boots with fluffy socks tights my little uh red tartan skirt and then um what t-shirt was it that i was wearing i can't remember what top i was wearing but i i felt so much so cozy and real christmasy in it and then on halloween i wore a black t-shirt with uh, it was like a halloween design on it and again the red tartan with the tights and the boots and it's like outfits like that i was like i felt really good in like i really loved them outfits so I decided like I'm going to slowly start switching out my wardrobe and start like DIYing my own clothes to make it look more like what I want to see, what I want to wear and not like what society thinks overweight people should wear, basically. 
and I know the more weight I lose the nicer looking clothes I can get and the more comfortable I'll feel but I do want to start feeling comfortable in the clothes that I wear and not constantly wearing big baggy jumpers to cover everything you know um the last thing I've been trying to do I've been getting Graham to force me to do it in the sense of reminding me because I have this thing where I keep forgetting is I've been doing journals I can't remember if I mentioned this but I have four journals that I got for Christmas and I have been trying to fill them out as best I can so there's this week so this is my food one obviously I'm not putting the steps in because I'm not getting any steps like today 1400 basically um that's from walking back and forth to the bathroom and I had a Tesco delivery that my dad didn't open the door for so I had to go down and get it but that's my food and I've been trying to keep track of what I'm eating I should probably leave them out because I need to fill them in I've been trying to fill this one in as to what I've been doing every day this is one of my favourite ones. I got this one in pennies. I friggin' love it. It's so cute. But I do like little bullet points and write in each day what I've done. So I do. So I've been trying to do that. My work one I have written in that like I've I'm in isolation now. So I have the planner there. So for this week I write in that I'm in isolation and when I'm free. So I do. Then I have like a little to do list now. So I've been. I don't use this one as much just because it's only for work and college. So I probably will put in like, um, when my assignments are due. I probably put all that information in, but I'll do that in a minute. But um, I don't use that one as much. And then this is the most important one. This one. I use for writing in how I felt each day, and there's been days when I'm like, like I've missed like three days say so i have to um i have to try and remember how i felt each day which isn't that complicated because when i look back at what i've done or i think back to what i've done that day i kind of know like say like thursday wednesday night was when i did the ancient test in the house with the family so i know for a fact okay well i know how i felt that day i know work was stressful that day I know I felt like crap after it. I know I wasn't in the mood for my Zoom class and all this. Like, So I know how to write. I know what to write in. So, But that one's the most important one. These two are the most important. This is my mental health and this is my food. The other two, the other one that I, for planning out my, or what I've done each day is just so I can keep track of what happened or what I did that day and compare it to how I felt, compare it to what I ate. And see, is there a connection to it all? And see, is that the reason why I felt that way? Or is that the reason why I ate that way? Or is that the reason why I did these things? Just to see what type of connection there is. I don't know if I talked about that in the last video or not. I can't remember. These videos are all blurred to me at this point. Um, I'm not back to work until nearly February, I think, at this point. Yeah, February 1st. Um, I have the rest of January off from work. I just realised. Um, I'm not back to work until February 1st, which is really funny. Um, I just realised. <laughs> or is it January 31st? Whatever the Monday is. It's either the 30th or the 31st. I think I'm back, actually. Yeah, because the Wednesday is the 2nd. So yeah, I think I'm back like the 30th or the 31st or whatever. But um, So quite a while off. So I'm hoping to get all my college work done. And I'm hoping to go back into work feeling more myself basically because I've got a lot of time in the room to try and work on feeling better basically work on my diet work on my mental health work on my college stuff uh, work on getting organized on organizing the room on just working on everything like trying I'm gonna try to keep busy I've had two very dull days because I've just been really tired Um, I had planned on recording a lot of videos today I'm getting homework and all done but I just couldn't move. I ended up just playing a bit of Stardew with Graham, having breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then I took a nap during the day, and that's all I could muster myself to do until I decided to record this video for you. Um, so yeah, that's the update one. Basically, bullet pointing it. Gonna start going for walks once the evenings get brighter. Uh, stuck in isolation till next Thursday. Um, so Friday I'll be allowed to go out. Um, hoping to dye my hair soon. We'll see if my cousin can get me to dye. I will be. Because I'm not sending my dad to do it. He won't know what to do. Um, college is stressful. Work is stressful. But 
all that will soon be coming to an end. Um, trying to organise myself, contemplating quitting uni slim just to concentrate on the diet here at home with my mum and organising it without having to go and pay every week to weigh in knowing that I've done bad because I've been going for I don't know how many weeks and I haven't moved very much because I've been so stressed and sick and everything. So no point in going. As I said to my I can't concentrate on it so. But this is a very long video, I do apologise for rambling, but you know how I get. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have a bit more energy in me, so I'm hoping I'll be able to record more videos for you. I have a Scream video to do, a Sweet Magnolias video to do, I need to finish editing the haul video that I did, that I recorded, and I think I might have one or two other ones, I can't remember. I wrote them all down <laughs> somewhere, but yeah, so that's the update. Um, I will try to do another video, Life Goals video, but I haven't really been posting on the Life Goals um, Instagram page either, really. I've kind of done random bits. I'll probably do a post on it now tonight just to say that there's no, I'm not really going to be posting because I'm in isolation, you know. So there's no step weekly step count this week. There's not going to really be much because I'm not moving from my room. So I might do a quick little video on that now, but... Um, I'm only going to post on the Life Goals page when I feel like it, in a sense, like when I feel like there's something that needs to be posted and not has to be posted. Um, so yeah, hopefully these are all alright with that and these are enjoying the videos that are going up. Um, we are uploading a lot more over on the game channel, so that's the Graham Sarah channel. Sorry, what? Uh, Graham Sarah Games. Sarah, Graham Sarah Games, I can't remember, it's so confusing. Uh, Graham Sarah Games, we are posting nearly daily over on that channel, besides the weekends, I think. We're posting Monday to Friday over there. Um, we had started slowing down, but we're, because we have now the time off, we are going to try bang out a load of videos on that as well uh, for the next couple of months. Try to get a good few videos done for the next at least two months or so. Um, so we are posting loads of games over on there, so hop on over to there and have a look at them videos. Um, and if you want to watch us live, we're over on... Is it still Sarah, Graham Sarah Games? Over on Twitch? Yeah, over on Twitch. Yes, yeah. yeah, the same name over on Twitch. Um, I'm guessing the links are probably going to be down below. You'll probably find them, so please do hop over. We are going to, because we have video editing software now, we are contemplating doing extra long streams uh, and just cutting the videos down. So we'll be streaming for more than half an hour from now on. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. I know I rambled a bit, but I wanted to kind of get a video out there just explaining everything that's happened and just everything I needed to get out <laughs> in the open, you know. Um, so if you'll still follow along with my little journey, I will get back into the swing of things very soon. Uh, I've just been not well, basically, over the past while, but I'm getting there slowly. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video really, 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 really soon. Bye.